China's health ministry says as of now, 13,000 children are in hospital. Almost 40,000 others have been treated as outpatients and then allowed to go home. That brings the total number to 53,000 children, infants and babies who have been made sick by this contamination of China's dairy industry. And the first cases have been reported beyond the mainland. In Hong Kong, a three-year-old girl has been diagnosed with kidney stones. Others there are undergoing tests for malamine poisoning. That's the industrial chemical which authorities say was mixed with diluted milk to give fake protein readings which allow that watered-down milk to pass inspection. Along with Hong Kong and Macau, Singapore has now issued a recall for Chinese dairy products after traces of melamine were found. Japan has also issued a recall for some Chinese dairy products even though no melamine was found. And countries which do not even import dairy from China have now banned it. The Chinese government is now trying to show that it's on top of this crisis and also that it cares. Premier Wen Jiaobao, the comforter-in-chief, has been seen on state-run television visiting a Beijing children's hospital, talking with parents and apologizing. What we need to do now is ensure that nothing like this happens in the future, not only in dairy products but in all food. Manufacturers and owners of dairy companies should show more morality and social responsibility. In this case, they are heartless. So we have to create strict law and legislation. I'm sorry. The World Health Organization has also been critical of the way Chinese authorities have handled this crisis, saying there has been an obvious lack of transparency and suggesting there has been a cover-up. John Vores, CNN.